What if your sole purpose with Mr. Lamar was to birth those three children? What if? What if he was a divine instrument used by a gracious and merciful God to teach you you need to rewire? <laughs> what if? We can't do anything but be grateful. But what we do get to do is say, no, mm -mm, done. I am complete with this lesson. Let me tell you how I believe that so much. It is part of my philosophy. It is part of my passion. It is part of my purpose here on life is to help people understand things don't always have to turn out what they seem to be. Some things are literally a lesson. It's a way for you to get back on track and reconnect to your true self. Your hurt is not supposed to last forever. Your pain is not supposed to last forever. Yes, it is hard to get over some things. Yes, it is. it seems like you're going to freaking unalive, you know, but that doesn't mean you can't get over it. That doesn't mean you can't get through it, you know, and when we choose to be brave and we choose to not put this mask on of, you know, this almost like a defense mechanism where you shield yourself, whether it's subconscious or conscious behavior, you kind of shield yourself from the world to protect yourself from pain or ever going through that experience again. But when we choose to be brave and be our truest self and literally live in our truth, take the time and patience and kindness to really just get to know yourself and wear that person on the outside. I believe that's when you truly align with your highest version of yourself or you truly align with your passions, your purpose. I truly believe that. And it is, I am so passionate about this line of thinking. I am so passionate about this mindset because it's so many of us that are suffering and want to stop and don't know how. There's so many of us. Did you hear that car beat? <laughs> That is confirmation. There's so many of us that genuinely want to be us, but our lives are not aligning in the way that we can see ourselves being that full version of ourselves or that whole version. But let me tell you, it's baby steps. You don't just decide to get rid of the hurt and pain in the next day. You're your full self, no pain, no trauma. It don't work like that. You take baby steps towards this version of you. And then, this is the kicker. You also show yourself love while you're in this version of yourself. And you show yourself patience and kindness. This version of you is so worthy of the love, respect, patience, and kindness until you get to that ideal version of you, until you get to that healed version of you, each step of the way you are worthy. That's the kicker. A lot of us want to be from this to that ideal version. And then we forget to love ourselves along the way, but that's the only way you can get there. Okay? So when I tell you, <laughs> be brave enough. Be brave enough to take the next step. Be brave enough to take that next baby step. Okay? <laughs>